Good morning. It is day 138, Sunday, August 19th. Very windy last night up on the mountain. I thought my uh, thought the tent stakes were going to be pulled out and my tent collapsed on me, but uh, they held in there just long enough. Wore my socks last night. It was a complete change from uh, the weather we had in town. The night before it was it was warm that night, so uh, we're over the top of uh, Carter Dome. Now we're heading down. We're gonna hit the next mountain. Sun's out. Should warm up. Box turtle out. Okay, we did a little stroll up to Mount Height. That's where I came. degrees in Gorham when I checked this morning and it was a little colder up here. Alright, we're gonna head down there to that white blaze and stay on the trail. Okay, we have 1.3 miles to get up to Mount Moriah. And then after that, it's a long decline to Route 2. And uh, I don't know if you can hear me better now, but I have my earbuds, and that usually works better during this wind. Here's what the valley looks like. That was a rough wind last night. almost pulled my tent down. The stakes were halfway out when I got up. Moving north. Well, the white started several days ago going over Mount Musalak. But today we went over Mount Moriah, and that's the end of the white, so it was a good workout. We're looking forward to uh, hitting that 300 mile mark and then uh, stomping into Maine. It's supposed to be pretty tough. Guess we're going to find out. Box turtle out. Okay, that's fall number 15. My heel got stuck, stuck and I was trying to uh, get it free and I fell over backwards, so it counts. Make that 16. Going? Okay, this is how I set up my tent. I, I set it up the way Bigfoot sets it up. It's a, a Z-Pax duplex. Comes in this bag. And the stakes come in this bag. I put them in there, throw them in the tent when I'm done, put my stakes in my pocket. Bags all, or the tent's all wet and sandy from this morning. That's okay. Spread it out there. And I do a corner. Okay. Here's one stick. There's another stick. And I use my trekking poles to hold it up. Go do the other side.
sides done, you come over here and do these last two corners. Do the last two stakes on the on the ends. Give the tent a little more room. Ability. That one. And there's that one. Then I come over here and I. Uh, down and I open it up and throw all my gear in there you can roll these back if you want and when we're done at the end of the day it'll be hooked up to this string here and fold tight and it'll look similar to that. That's it. And when you take it down you just you just reverse it. Okay. I'd like to thank uh, the cameraman, Mr. Zip, for doing a good job this time. Box turtle out. Okay, this is the end of day 138, Sunday, August 19th. I'm going to go take these uh, supplies here and go down to the Rattle River. You can probably hear it. I'm going to go down there and make some water and wash up. There's the bear bag. There's my tent. There's the Rattle River shelter. I get that all done. I'm going to go to sleep. We came over... Uh, few mountains today came over uh, the last one was Mariah and uh, that's the last one of the whites tomorrow we'll he'll do a little resupply since we hit route 2 Grom's pretty close to here probably hitchhike down there and get a few things and then uh, uh, go to the Bigelow's those are the next mountains and we're uh, about 18 19 away, miles away from Maine uh, it was pretty, some pretty steep climbs today, rocky. I fell twice, to, right towards the end of the day on some silly rocks. And uh, went 12.1 miles. It's a little chilly right now. I was thought I might go into the water, but uh, I think I'll just wash up tonight and then shiver back here and hop in my sleeping bag and sleep well. Should be another good day tomorrow. See you then. Box turtle out.